Today, I'm going to talk to you about how depressed you are for not hitting your NaNoWriMo goals. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video now that I'm back and everything's fine and normal and good and fine. The reason why I don't like NaNoWriMo is because unless you do everything the way they initially intended for you to do it, you are bound to fail. What I mean by that is you have to set aside the time to do the thing in November. Not only that, it only is super helpful if you get involved with all the groups and the meetups and all the things. Because if you don't do that, the support system isn't there. And the whole reason why NaNoWriMo was created was to give you a support system, you know? But not, I would say 95% of people who do NaNoWriMo do not use the support system that's built into NaNoWriMo. The next thing, the only reason why NaNoWriMo exists is because of how Amazon and the algorithms sell books. Meaning that NaNoWriMo wants you to write 50,000 words because that's considered a decent novel length for you to be able to turn around and sell your book on Amazon and start making money kind of thing. Now, I know they're not going to come out and say that that's the reason why, but um, if you look at timetables of when things happened and when things started and all this other stuff, that's exactly what it is, okay? So the thing that kind of makes me bummed out and kind of breaks my heart a little bit, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I've already heard from many people who were doing NaNoWriMo and didn't hit the 50,000 words, okay? It's like December 5th, and like, I already had to talk three people off the ledge, or at least the ledge of you can do this. Because what I hate is when people are like, well, again, I didn't make my goal, so I guess I will just try again next year. And that's fucking stupid. You could try again whenever you want, and you don't even have to stop doing the thing you're doing. I've written tons of books, and I've never finished NaNoWriMo. Okay? I've written tons of books in less time than you're supposed to do in NaNoWriMo. But for some reason, whenever I get into NaNoWriMo and they start sending me notifications and telling me what to do and all this other shit, I get all pissed off. I'm like, fuck you, NaNoWriMo. I'm not going to fucking do that. And it's fucking stupid. I shouldn't fucking do it, but I do. So I kind of swore off NaNoWriMo and that was just the end of it. And I remember a couple years ago, I did a video called um, Nano No No. And there were a, a bunch of us who had fallen for the NaNoWriMo trap um, over the years and just decided we weren't going to fucking do it anymore. Um, and so th the other thing is, like, going back to the whole Amazon thing, a lot of people out there are very talented writers and could write very amazing short stories. But because it's harder to sell short stories than it is selling a novel on Amazon, like, the whole idea is to push you to write your novel, okay? And what happens, there's a lot of people who have these great ideas that are probably short stories or novella length, okay? Maybe 20,000 words. But then they're like, okay, I need another 30,000 words. How am I going to do this? And you start like coming up with fluff and stuff that isn't exciting to you to try to make your novel work. The whole thing is set up for you to fail unless you actually have a novel length idea and you use the fucking support system. So all I want to do right now is to let you guys know that there's nothing wrong with you. You are a writer. It's okay. Just doing the NaNoWriMo thing may not be your thing. You might not be a novelist, at least not yet, but you could be writing some fucking amazing short stories. And don't let that fucking get you down. Okay? So you're doing good. You're doing the things. Keep it up. And just, you know, fuck. 
keep buying my books, keep typing hard, and hit the fucking join button down below so you could be a fucking cool kid and not some fucking loser that cries about NaNoWriMo. I'm just fucking with you. Okay, whatever. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.